Now on to Wall Street, and if you were watching the markets today, you saw it just after 1 p.m., a massive nosedive, all because of one tweet from a trusted source, the Associated Press. It said there had been an explosion at the White House and President Obama was injured, but the tweet was false. The work of disruptive hackers and ABC's new chief business and economics correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, explains how it all unfolded. It was the tweet that sent stocks plunging. At 1.07 p.m., breaking news from the Associated Press. Two explosions in the White House and Barack Obama is injured. Stocks higher this afternoon, recovering after a false report of a bombing at the White House. Hack attack on an AP Twitter feed. The news was false, a hacker's hoax. But before the AP or the president's press secretary could clear things up. I can say uh, that the president is fine. I was uh, just with him. There were four minutes of panic on Wall Street. A gain of 130 points on the Dow gone in an instant. $136 billion lost before seconds later a full recovery. But it wasn't humans driving stocks lower. Traders say many computer programs troll the internet for key phrases and react accordingly. In this case, they saw the AP's tweet and responded, sell, sell, sell. Computers don't have emotions. Computers don't have intuition. Computers trade off of one variable and one variable only. Humans use their intuitions. We can look, we can feel and touch. We knew pretty quickly that it was not a true headline. Authorities are still questioning just how this could happen. The AP has suspended its Twitter account, but this is a cautionary tale that in this digital age, even an obvious hoax could cost Americans millions of dollars.